celebrating Thanksgiving together for the first time in four years. The Dane County Boys and Girls Clubs finally taking that opportunity. The group handing out meals during the pandemic, but now they're back offering the Sina Davis community meals in person once again. NBC 15's Marcus Arsvold spoke with one community member who's extra enthusiastic about being back together. I think we saw a little bit of her. Mm -hmm. Gladys Almond wasn't just eating and volunteering today. She also had the Boys and Girls Club's floor dancing during their Thanksgiving meal. Now that they're all back together in person. Oh, oh, give me that step now. And happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> For Gladys Alamad, Thanksgiving is all about helping her community and having fun while doing it. We're here today to help and, and receive and give. She says the best way to get through hard times is giving to others and getting friends on the dance floor. That's the only way we can get through life, helping each other. That's the only way. No matter what color, shape, or size, we have to help each other. It's hard work to make and serve a free meal for around 200 people. Just ask Micaiah Johnson. Because I think uh, I just like to help the world and giving, because a lot of people are struggling right now and uh, they have hard times, so I just like to help the world. It's the first time Boys and Girls Clubs hosted a sit-down, in-person Thanksgiving meal since 2019. The group opted to hand out takeout meals during COVID until now. I think we were just ready. We've come back in so many ways where we keep taking those steps and it feels like we're back. It feels like we're back. And so we wanted to just have that this year, have that sit-down opportunity. But Alamad doesn't sit down for too long. I love to dance. <laughs> <laughs> she can't stop, won't stop grooving, shaking, and serving her community. Be thankful, be grateful. Just, just help, help, help someone. Put the pride down and reach out and help somebody. And you'll be helped along the way. A great message there. On top of the free meals served today, the Boys and Girls Clubs gave out over 200 meals earlier this week for families to take home. Live in the studio, Marcus Arsvold, NBC 15 News. Oh, Marcus, thank you. I could feel the love in that room. Now, the community meal was also a learning opportunity for families. The Boys and Girls Clubs educational staff was on hand to discuss future college and career opportunities for anyone who wanted to learn about it.